My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path, Path of the Network of the Marketer. Network Marketer. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to talk about category versus criteria. That's right, category versus criteria in the context of people. Um, uh, this was a principle, or is a principle, that I've been teaching for a decade at least. It is 2023. I have to get used to the year change. Um, and it was born out of the question that I ultimately, I, I still get actually to this day, and is what, you know, what kind of uh, people should I should I go after, right? Like, what, what kind of people should I prospect and talk to for my business? Now, of course, that's, that's you know, back then when, you know, a lot of things were still offline. We're talking about belly to belly, person to person marketing. Um, that question would always come up. And, and the question would either be preceded or followed by the sentiment that uh, oh I wish I had uh, blank more blank people in my team like I wish I had more lawyers in my organization I wish I had more doctors I wish I had more um, engineers right or when I first got started in network marketing engineers were coming into the profession in droves so you know everybody was looking to, to connect with more engineers um, and and so yeah that that was that was the 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 predominant way of of looking how looking at prospecting or marketing um and i get it right like we're used to well we're programmed we're we're wired to look at people as different categories and demographics, right? And it just, it's just, it starts from a very early age, especially if you went to, um, you know, school here in the U.S., our school system automatically starts to categorize us uh, from, from day one, right? You have your, your, your advanced readers, you have your, your, your you know, uh, intermediate, I guess, uh, and then you have your little, little bit behind individuals like myself um, that weren't so good at, at reading and language arts, right? But that's, that's just an example, but you guys know what I mean, right? Like we're, we're, we're very early on divided into categories and demographics. And so that's the mindset we take when we're looking um, to, to prospect because we want to, you know, the, the unconscious desire is to maximize our prospecting and our marketing so that it's more effective. And, and the way to do that is, okay, so who should I talk to in terms of the demographics or the categories that I, that I know? Again, it's uh, I, like I wish I had more professionals on my team, right? And and for me, it always it well, it never made sense because I never heard myself in any of the categories that people were looking for. Again, I, I was not a, you know a, a student that that excelled necessarily in school. Um, I uh, I was a movie theater usher when when I was uh, early in my career building this business. Uh, and, you know, I, by you know, I got into my mid thirties, I was still a movie theater usher making minimum wage. So, you know, on the surface, I wasn't necessarily the ideal candidate um, if, if you were looking at candidates from a demographic and category um, um, lens, right? And so, uh, you know, that, that got me thinking, well, that, that by, by doing that, uh, you know, I'm not saying it's not effective. However, um, there, you're potentially leaving out um, or ignoring a huge, huge swath of the population that could potentially be your next superstar, like myself, who didn't really fit into the, any any of those those um, uh, uh, traditional and, and typical categories that people thought of as as what they needed or what they thought they needed uh, to succeed in their in their uh, in their businesses. Um, so uh, I started giving the people the advice of well, stop looking at people in terms of category and demographics and and start looking at them in terms of criteria not even looking at them right uh, because fitting people into categories and and demographics is all about a judgment call right whereas criteria it is really just seeing where they're at, right? And and there's only two criteria that, that you need um, to succeed with this principle. The first criteria is, are you ready to make a change, right? Do you wanna make a change in your life? Um, and that's a pretty broad general question. And not likely the, the individuals that you come across or, or that you, you interact with will want, make, will want to make some kind of change in their life. So that's an automatic in. Um, the second, however, will start to kind of refine your search. And that is, well, are you ready to actually do something about it, right? Um, and and so, I like this these two criteria because again, it, it it strips judgment out of the equation and it makes it about their decision, right? Are you are you looking for uh, to make a change in your life? I have a potential solution. Uh, therefore, are you ready to actually do something about it, right? And if you're not, that's okay. The door is still open. I won't burn any bridges. You have my number. Reach out to me when you are ready. 
right? And so it, it's a much more inclusive way of, of prospecting, quote unquote, or of marketing. Um, and I know, you know, early on, this was in regards to recruiting because that's all we talked about early in network marketing, at least early in my career. Um, today, since we are talking a lot more about, or we've made the shift into customer acquisition, the principle still still works the same, right? Especially if you're if you're doing person to person marketing, right? If you're if you're growing your network and you're if you're if you're having conversations in person, it's it's a matter of you know finding people who are, are looking to make a change um, in their life. And if the answer is yes, okay, I have a solution for you. Um, are you ready to actually um, do something about it, right? And if you're not, no big deal. You have my number. Um, these products are always going to be here, or my service will always be available. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll help you out. It's as simple as that, right? And, and again, it works either. It works for both. Um, uh, look, it, it works for both recruiting business builders and business partners in the organization, and it works for customer acquisition. So, that's the conversation for today. Uh, category versus criteria, a principle that you can really use. Um, actually, you can use it online or offline, uh, but it's it's a much more inclusive way of having a conversation that uh, well I think I think uh, yeah yeah you'll you'll have much more mu much more success with um, uh, looking at people through the lens of criterias and they select themselves in as opposed to you selecting them um, and making the judgment in terms of what category they fit in so category versus criteria um, uh, you know live live by that principle it's it's time tested and I, I think that's one it's one that's going to stand the test of time so use it teach it and pass it on that's it for today guys thanks for tuning in more from me tomorrow until then be well be safe I'll see you in the next episode